Now let's take a quick peek at some of the tools on the Insert tab. You still have some of your basic things that you've always had before, but I think they've expanded a little bit. Um, you have Picture, where you can add a picture. I'll just take this cute little koala bear. Uh, you resize them just like you always have. Si resize them from the corner handles to keep the um, picture in alignment. And if you've ever noticed, sometimes it's hard to just move it where you want to move it. But if you click on your picture so you have the buttons around it and go to Wrapping Text and select Tight, you can then move it where you want. And I did want it over here so I can show you some things. With the picture selected, I get a new format menu or a full format tab for picture tools. And notice all these neat little frames that you can put around your picture. I like this one right down here but there's lots of cool ones that you can do that kids could really make their images, I don't know, look a little bit more professional, give it a little bit more touch of class. So I'll put one on there. And now that I've selected this frame over to the side, my picture border, maybe I don't want black, maybe I want to go red or maroon or something. So I can select my own color. There's some picture effects like shadows. Now to see that, I might want to move my picture over a little bit. Uh, reflection. You can see those things as I move my mouse over it. Look at the picture. Edges. Glow. So there's lots of things that kids can, unfortunately it might they might get distracted from what their assignment is, but lots of things that they can do to uh, liven up their pictures in here. Okay, what else do we have? Oh, you can change your picture with corrections. Uh, maybe your picture was too dark or too light. You can change the brightness and the contrast. You can actually remove the background, and this is interesting. Look what happens when I select at Remove Background. Yeah, I don't like that, so I'm going to uh, discard all changes there. You can change the color. Maybe you want to go to just a plain black and white or some kind of sepia or some other different shade. So you have artistic effects as well. And I'd have to let an art teacher tell you about this, but just to know they are there. Okay, what else we have on the Insert tab? You still have clip art, as always, you know, over here to the side. You can close it out when you're done. You have shapes, and I think they had shapes before. I'm pretty sure they did. I'll just grab a little smiley face, and I'll text wrap it to tight so I can move it a little bit. Actually, I'll get rid of the koala bear. And now I, he came in with the default color that was currently on there, but notice when I have the picture selected, I have a new, new tab called Format Drawing Tools. And when I go up here, Look at all these little options. As I move my mouse, I haven't selected them. I'm just moving my mouse over these options. And if I like one, I can click on it and it's selected. So again, the shape fill can be a different color. Um, the shape outline, I can change that at any point and so forth. So there's lots of neat things you can do with these tools right here. And then there was one more I wanted to show you. And that's called Smart Art. And let me delete that smiley face. In the smart art, now I haven't played with this enough. I just know that like, uh, for example, if you go into the relationship section and scroll down, I mean, we all know what this one is, a basic Venn, but you click on it and it tells you what the diagram's purpose is. Again, it tells you what the purpose is. Um, if you're looking at it and you're not sure why or where you would use that, so we'll just take the basic Venn, we'll hit OK, and they list, and you just type your text in here, and it um, appears really, really nice. So you have to play with those sometimes. The smart art is pretty cool. So there's a few new things on the Insert tab.